Hello guys, welcome to the year 6 session. In the previous session, we have learned how to use the argument and alias. In this session, we will learn about what is a fragment and how to use it. Here we are obtaining the details of the two different user. And for both, we are obtaining those four fields. We have specified it two times. If new requirement came and you want to obtain the new field in the response or want to change its alias, then you need to make update in both places. GraphQL provide alternative way for this. It provide reusable unit called fragments. Fragment let you to construct set of field and then include them in the query where you need to use. So let's create a fragment outside the query. We need to use the fragment keyword. And the name of the fragment, I am using the user fields. Use the on keyword. After this, we need to specify the type for which this fragment will be used. Here, if you hover the mouse on the user field, you can see that it's a query and its return type is user. So here we need to write the user. Within this block, we need to write the field that we want to fetch. I am going to use the same field that we are obtained previously. So copy paste it. Here our fragment is created. Now we need to update our query to retrieve the field as per the fragment. For this we need to write the three dots and the name of fragment. Like this. And copy paste it here too. Let execute the query. Here we got the same field as per our expectation. Now if you want to make any update in the fields, for example add an alias for the id. Execute this query. Here we got the alias name in the both field. That's the advantage of fragment. Even we can also retrieve the additional field with the field specified in the fragment. Let's see what we have learned in this session. To create a fragment, we need to use the fragment keyword. Using on keyword, we can specify a type for which this fragment will be used. We will learn more about the types in the further session. And then we have specified the field within that block. To retrieve the field based on the fragment, we need to write the triple dot and the fragment name. Along with this fragment field, we can also specify the extra field too. Here I have obtained the location for my login name. So it will include in this field only. This kind of fragment is known as the name fragment. And it will attach to the specific type. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next session.